Hello viewers and welcome to my channel and today's topic is essential uh, thrombocythemia which is a, a blood platelet disorder you know and uh, but before starting this I would like to request you to like subscribe and uh, share this video and uh, if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition uh, you can visit our website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and uh, alternatively you can click the link in the description uh, to visit this website thank you now welcome to the topic uh, essential uh, thrombocythemia is an uncommon disorder in which your body produces too many blood platelets and this condition may cause you to feel fatigued and uh, lightheaded and to experience headaches and wind changes uh, it also increases your risk of blood clots Essential thrombocythemia uh, is more common in people over age of 50 and those younger people can also develop it too you know and uh, it's so what, uh, somewhat like uh, more common in women and essential thrombocythemia is a chronic disease uh, with no cure and uh, if you have mild form of the disease uh, you may not need treatment and if you have severe condition uh, you may need uh, medicine that uh, lowers your platelet count uh, blood thinner, uh, like uh, blood thinners like aspirin etc or maybe both you know so that was uh, what it is uh, introduction you know now the next thing is uh, what are the symptoms uh, you may not have any noticeable symptoms of essential thrombocythemia and this uh, uh, the first indication uh, you have the disorder may be development of the blood clot which is known as thrombus you know and the clots can develop anywhere in your body uh, but uh, uh, with essential thrombocythemia uh, they occur most often in your brain in your hands and in feet and the signs and the symptoms depend on uh, the location and they may include like uh, headaches they may include dizziness or lightheadedness uh, chest pain fainting temporary wind changes and uh, numbness and tingling of the hands and feet redness throbbing burning pain in the hands and feet Uh, which is known as uh, medically known as uh, uh, erythromelalgia you know and the less uh, commonly essential uh, uh, thrombocythemia may cause bleeding especially if your platelet count is extremely high so more than 1 million platelets per microliter of the blood you know so bleeding may uh, uh, take the form of uh, nosebleeds uh, maybe in form of bruising maybe in form of the bleeding from your mouth and gums and uh, bloody stools and uh, uh, if the blood clot occurs in the arteries that supply the blood to the brain it may cause a transit ischemic attack or stroke you know and uh, so it transit ischemic attack or mini stroke you know is a temporary interruption of blood flow to the parts of the brain and the signs and the symptoms of the stroke are the TIA or uh, transit ischemic attack develop suddenly and uh, it includes like a weakness or numbness of your face arm legs and it's usually on one side of the body and the difficulty in sleeping understanding the speech is known as aphasia it's another sign and the blood or the double VN or the decreased VN so these are the signs and the symptoms of the uh, stroke you know mini stroke and uh, you should see this is an emergency you know and you should seek medical attention immediately and if you develop signs and the symptoms of the strokes such as numbness or paralysis uh, on one side of your body and if you develop signs and symptoms of the heart attack such as uh, like uh, blood pressure or uh, fullness or uh, uh, squeezing chest pain you know uh, uh, lasting more than few minutes 
and pain extending to your shoulder or arm uh, or the back or the teeth or jaw and shortness of breath and uh, sweating uh, call the emergency services straight away and if you have any signs or the symptoms of the like uh, blood clotting or bleeding so these are emergencies and uh, never ignore these and call the emergency services straight away now the next thing is uh, what are the uh, causes well the essential uh, thrombocythemia is a type of chronic uh, myelo proliferative disorder so which means that uh, the bone marrow which is the spongy tissue inside your bones makes too many of the certain types of cell you know and uh, in the case of essential thrombocythemia the bone marrow makes too many cells that uh, create platelets you know and uh, well it's not clear what causes this to happen and about 90 percent of the people with the disorder have an acquired gene mutation contributing to the disease you know and the platelets uh, platelets uh, stick together uh, to help form blood clots and normally blood clots uh, stop bleeding when uh, blood stops bleeding when uh, uh, you damage a blood vessel such as uh, when you get a cut you know and a normal platelet count ranges from uh, 150,000 to 450,000 platelets per microliter of blood you know and someone with essential uh, thrombocythemia has more than 4,000 um, uh, 450,000 platelets per micro um, uh, liter of blood you know so plus the excess platelets may not function normally and leading to the abnormal clotting or bleeding you know now if an underlying condition such as uh, infection or uh, iron deficiency causes a high platelet count uh, it's called reactive or secondary uh, thrombocythemia you know and uh, secondary thrombocythemia causes less risk of blood clots and bleeding that does not essential uh, and that does the essential like uh, essential thrombocythemia you know now the next thing is uh, what are the possible complications you know uh, the older people with the essential thrombocythemia are at risk of complications and the people who had uh, prior blood clots and bleeding problems related to the disease are also at risk of complications uh, abnormal blood clotting of essential thrombocythemia can lead to a variety of potential serious complications which may include like stroke or transic ischemic attack you know heart attack uh, excessive bleeding and the excessive bleeding uh, uh, may appear as uh, nose bleeds or bleeding gums or bruising you know and it's rare but essential thrombocythemia may progress to these uh, potentially life-threatening diseases like uh, uh, acute uh, uh, myelogenous leukemia and uh, myelofibrosis you know so acute uh, myelogenous leukemia is uh, the type of white blood cell and the bone marrow cancer that uh, progress rapidly you know. and uh, myelofibrosis is a progressive disorder which results in the bone marrow scoring and leading to the severe anemia and enlargement of your liver and spleen you know so these are life-threatening situations uh, in, there, are, there are many complications uh, if you are pregnant you know like uh, uh, and having the essential thrombocythemia you have a high risk of uh, complications uh, than the woman without pregnancy you know or uh, who, who, who or who does not have this condition you know uh, but most women who have uh, thrombocythemia have normal and healthy pregnancies and uncontrolled thrombocythemia can lead to miscarriage and other complications and your risk of complications may be uh, reduced with the regular checkups and the medications so be sure 
to have your doctor regularly monitor your condition you know the next thing is uh, how do uh, the doctors diagnose that you have the essential thrombocythemia you know if your blood count is above 450,000 platelets per micro liter of blood your doctor will look for an uh, underlying condition and uh, he or she will rule out all other causes of high platelet counts to confirm the diagnosis of essential thrombocythemia and uh, he will perform the tests like uh, uh, blood tests like the samples of blood will be checked for uh, uh, certain things like the number of platelet, co platelet count or uh, size of the platelets and uh, activity of uh, platelets you know and uh, specific genetic flaws such as the JAK2 or uh, CALR or MPL gene mutation you know and iron levels in the blood you know or the red blood cells and uh, uh, markers of inflammation so he will look for these things in the blood tests you know and then he may advise the bone marrow tests you know so your doctor um, will suggest uh, like two bone marrow tests. Number one is bone marrow aspiration, and number two is bone marrow biopsy. You know, you know in case of aspiration, your doctor extracts a small amount of your liquid bone marrow through a needle, and the sample is examined under the microscope for the abnormal cells. You know, and in case of uh, bone marrow biopsy, your doctor takes a sample of solid bone marrow and tissue through a needle and uh, the sample is, is examined under the microscope to determine whether your bone marrow has a higher than normal number of large cells uh, that make the platelets known as mega uh, karyocytes you know now once diagnosed then uh, what are the treatment options so this is another question you know you know as I said earlier, there is no treatment, there is no cure for the essential thrombocythemia. But there are treatments available and the lifespan is expected to be normal despite the disease, you know. And the treatment of the essential thrombocythemia depends on the risk of blood clotting or bleeding episodes. And if you are younger than 60 and you had no signs and the symptoms, uh, you may simply um, need uh, like periodic medical checkups just to monitor, you know, the progression, you know and uh, your doctor may prescribe the medications if uh, you are <coughs> excuse me older than 60 years and have had the previous uh, blood clots or the stroke so if there's a history of stroke and the blood clot problems you know and uh, you have the cardiovascular risk factors such as uh, high cholesterol high blood pressure and diabetes so in that case you may need treatment and uh, the next thing the treatment are the uh, medications okay and uh, 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 there are some emergency procedures as well so I will talk to about the medicines first you know now your doctor uh, may suggest one of the prescription drugs like uh, hydroxyurea or uh, uh, like uh, agrilin you know and uh, the purpose is to and plus maybe aspirin low dose aspirin you know just to thin the blood you know and to reduce uh, the purpose is the aim of the goal of the treatment is to uh, reduce your platelet count or the clotting risk you know and uh, hydroxyurea as uh, uh, this drug expresses bone marrow uh, uh, which, pro which produces the blood cells you know and including the platelets and uh, its side effects are usually mild and uh, they may include like nausea or hair loss or uh, uh, discolored nails and ulcers in the mouth uh, and on the legs you know so but it, they are uh, like uh, mild you know and uh, then your doctor will monitor your blood counts 
and a liver function. So, so there are some concerns that uh, long term use uh, um, may slightly increase the risk of developing the acute um, uh, like uh, myelogenous leukemia you know and the other medication is uh, like uh, anangroloid or uh, agrolin you know now unlike uh, hydroxyurea uh, this uh, is not associated with increased risk of leukemia but it's not uh, considered as effective as uh, uh, the uh, hydroxyurea you know. but and the side effects uh, may include like uh, fluid retention, uh, heart problems, headaches, dizziness, nausea, and uh, diarrhea, you know. And uh, another one is the uh, interferon alpha. And this drug is given by injection and uh, may cause uh, worse side effects than the hydroxyurea and. Uh, uh, an aggregated dose you know but it's the best choice for some people so side effects may include like flu like symptoms like confusion or nausea or uh, depression and diarrhea and seizure irritability and sleepiness and uh, you know the medical procedure called platelet phrases uh, is used only in emergencies such as uh, after a stroke or other dangerous blood clotting you know and it temporarily lowers your platelet count and a needle uh, connected to a tube allows your blood to flow into a device that removes the platelets you know and um, uh, after which your blood is returned to your body so it's uh, in fact it's a fast track removal of the um, uh, platelets from the blood to lower the number of the uh, like um, platelets in the blood you know uh, you know if uh, the next thing is the home remedies are the lifestyle changes well if you have essential thrombocytemia uh, your doctor may recommend that you regularly take low dose aspirin and aspirin makes platelets less sticky and uh, uh, makes blood thin so your blood le is less likely to clot you know and it's often used in pregnancy because uh, it has a low risk of causing the side effects to the fetus you know so uh, also try to choose the healthy lifestyle habits like uh, lower your uh, uh, like uh, 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 or risk of developing the conditions that may contribute to the blood clotting and uh, these include like diabetes and high blood pressure and uh, high cholesterol control and you can take the few simple steps like uh, eat healthy foods increase your physical activity uh, and achieve um, and maintain uh, normal weight stop smoking and uh, um, just uh, uh, minimize your alcohol consumption you know if you are doing so so this way the life uh, so healthy lifestyle is very important um, uh, to control that uh, these kind of uh, symptoms you know thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit our website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel uh, for more informative videos every day thank you Bye.